Good afternoon. Uh, thank everybody for being here again today. Um, obviously uh, disappointed with uh, the outcome in Annapolis, Maryland this past weekend. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it is what it is. I uh, thought our kids uh, had a decent week of preparation and uh, went up there and, uh, you know, we were, uh, you know, not able to come back with the outcome that we wanted. Um, I think, uh, you know, the first thing I would say is uh, I was very impressed with uh, the Navy football team uh, and their development from last year. I think that uh, the quarterback play obviously is the largest improvement from a year ago uh, with their program, but also just the speed at which uh, both sides of the ball played on Saturday uh, was very impressive, not only on game day, but you know, going back and looking at it again. So I think we faced a very, uh, very quality American Athletic Conference team Saturday and uh, obviously did not get the things done we needed to to win. But, uh, you know, we have used that film on, uh, you know, over the weekend. Uh, I've watched it numerous times now and uh, we've watched it with the players and uh, we've taken the, uh, the positives that we can from that game. Uh, we've taken the corrections that are needed for uh, the immediate future from that game and uh, you know, spent time with that with the players. Uh, and then we've immediately got started with William and Mary and obviously a huge ball game for our program this Saturday here at home in Dally Ficklin Stadium. So, uh, you know, not, uh, not where we want to be on this Monday this week, uh, but hopefully we can get that turned around this weekend. Questions? When you talk about the positives taken from last week, the game that you saw, what more the positives from your perspective? Well, I mean, I think there's some uh, individual things in all three phases that you can look at and, uh, and feel good about. Uh, I do think that we defended the fullback uh, decently on Saturday uh, within the uh, triple option scheme that they were running, and that means that we played uh, pretty well at times between the tackles. Uh, I like the physicality of some of our players there in the box. I thought that they, uh, you know, I thought they showed a lot. Uh, I can promise you that, uh, you know, the fullback uh, from Navy, you know, he probably woke up pretty sore on Sunday. You know, our, our, you know a lot of our guys in the box did too. Uh, but it was a very physical game there between the tackles. Uh, I think offensively, uh, I thought that we did some good things at times. Uh, I thought that, uh, you know, Holton made some positive plays at times. Um, I thought that we had our bright spots there. We also uh, did not establish the consistency needed to effectively move the ball throughout the ball game. Uh, similarly on special teams, obviously we didn't start uh, you know, very well in that unit right there, but I thought uh, later on in the day we did some good things both with the punt unit um, and with the kickoff coverage unit. When you think about what's going on, uh, do you feel like it's a situation where um, you just have to execute better or do you feel like it's a situation where Well, I think that, uh, you know, before you can do the latter, you got to do the former. Uh, if you don't execute better, <laughs> nothing matters. You know, you may be trying to open things up more, um, but, uh, you know, you just have things where you're setting yourself back, you know, whether it be, you know, the first play of the game, uh, have a positive run, and you're sitting there at uh, second, second six, second seven, uh, and, uh, you know, we have a false start. And you can sit there and, well, you know, you had the false start because you had a pressure coming. The, you know, players trying to you know alert the quarterback that you got a corner blitz coming and, and he just he jerks but the reality is it ends up second 12 second 13 you know whatever it, uh, you know whatever it was right there so uh, you know and that's that's a tough down in distance um, you know later on in the ball game you're sitting there you know inside the 10 yard line uh, you score and you have a, a procedural penalty you know pre-snap uh, you can't do those things and execute at a high level so uh, we've got to make sure that we uh, correct those mistakes and we can't continue to make those mistakes if we're going to be effective. Uh, you know, you've got to be able to drive the football and move it consistently uh, in order to really open your playbook up. Coach, what does William and Mary's offense do that worries you? Well, I think uh, several things. Um, you know, they are a tempo offense, so we're going to have to be ready to uh, be prepared for that. Uh, they're going to move at a very fast pace at times. Uh, so we've got to really be on it defensively. Uh, we've got to be communicating. We've got to get lined up. We've got to make sure everybody's on the same page. Uh, we've got to be able to, uh, you know, really focus on that side of the ball because uh, you've got to be able to give them different looks, uh, even though they're going really fast. Um, you know, they don't always go fast. Sometimes they do change speeds there. Uh, 
Um, the biggest difference between them this year and the past couple of years is the player they're a freshman quarterback. Uh, he's a dynamic playmaker. Uh, he's been very impressive in all three games so far this season. He's their leading rusher and their leading passer. Um, you know, he's got the ability to make the big play in the run game. He's got a big arm, uh, and he's been very, very impressive. Uh, they do a good job of, you know, uh, a lot of two-back stuff, a lot of, you know, just different things formation-wise that you don't normally see uh, and trying to gain extra numbers at the point of attack and, and to run the football uh, and then play action and really take your shots down the field off of that. So, um, you know, we're going to have to do a great job of matching the tempo. We're going to do a great job of, you know, not giving up any kind of big plays in the passing game. And at the same time, we're going to do a great job against the run, do a great job of, uh, of uh, you know, controlling Mathis there in the pocket. You know, with the injury stuff, um, I just want to say it real quick. Uh, you know, I addressed all the injury stuff yesterday, both in the teleconference and uh, last time on the coaches show. There haven't been any big changes from that right now, and so I'll just stand by that stuff with, with that injury stuff. But Well, I mean, I think that's it. Uh, you know, we have a lot of talented guys uh, in that room. And, uh, you know, we, we got to keep bring, bringing Demetrius along. Uh, Hassan is the, uh, you know, the oldest player in that room. So I expect uh, some veteran leadership from him. Uh, and uh, then, uh, you know, Tay, you know, we're trying to challenge him and continue to bring him along. Um, you know, and, and that's a kid that, you know, I've, I've got a little bit of hope for right there. You know, he, he, was, uh, he was buried under the doghouse. Uh, you know, like back in the spring, and he's he's grown up, and he's maturing, and he's he's starting to work better, and uh, you know, starting to develop uh, you know some positive habits. So, I hope he can come along and give us some help there as well. How do you think Cody Gore did uh, Saturday? He was a starter. Great, great senior leadership. Yeah, I, mean, I thought he was good and bad Saturday. I mean, I thought it was it was uh, some good, some bad, but you know, certainly uh, Colby's a talented player. Uh, he's uh, you know started a lot of ball games here. Uh, and his ability has stood out, you know, ever since I got here and, and took the job. So it's certainly going to be a boost for us having him back in the lineup uh, this weekend. And uh, you know, he's a guy that yeah, I do look for for some senior leadership. Uh, he's had a great attitude, uh, works very, very hard. He's a competitor, uh, and you can't substitute those things. I think he's a great example for the young corners, uh, both at practice uh, and in how he prepares. Has William and Mary changed much under Mike London? I mean, they were so – Jimmy Laycock was there for so long. Is there yeah. any difference in them under Mike? I mean, I was, I was eight years old when Coach Laycock took the head coaching job there. And, you know, for a guy to do what he did for as long as he did with the consistency he did it at was, is, is extremely impressive. And, you know, I know Coach Laycock pretty well, and I got a lot of respect for him. And the one thing that he ensured was when he retired, there was a solid foundation there. Uh, obviously, Coach London – has had a tremendous amount of success, uh, you know, winning a national championship at the University of Richmond, then at the University of Virginia, uh, ACC Coach of the Year, very successful there. Um, I think he's stepped in and 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 taken a solid program, uh, and really had a fast start with it. Uh, they are very very solid defensively, with guys that we have played against at JMU uh, for the last three years. So he's got guys that are multiple year starters there on that side of the football. Uh, play very, very hard, very physical, uh, will be very sound. Offensively, you know, the thing they've been missing the last two years has been the quarterback. Uh, you know, they've had inconsistent quarterback play the last two years after being a, a very solid team in 16. So I think that, uh, you know, Mathis brings, uh, brings that needed playmaker there at that position. Um, so I think, you know, what you look at is, you know, we're playing a very solid CAA football team uh, and one that will probably end up having a really good year. Well, I think there's a couple of things. Um, you know, one is uh, you know ha having the right situations to take those shots. I think uh, two is making the play when you when you actually take the shot. Um, and certainly, we had a couple there on Saturday. We had some that uh, you know maybe we didn't take advantage of. We had one that maybe should have been caught. Um, but certainly, that's something that we've got to we got to make those plays in our in our offensive scheme.
Coach, were you using anything from the film this past week? Malcolm Perry was so successful against you, and he got another dual threat quarterback this week. Well, it's a completely different scheme, yeah. uh, and it's a senior versus a freshman. Uh, so, uh, you know, Malcolm Perry is uh, a, a difference maker in that triple option scheme, and I do think that Mathis, in that same respect, is a difference maker in this scheme. Uh, but the schemes are so different. Uh, at the end of the day, we've got to do a great job of tackling uh, you know, when he gets loose. Uh, and they do a lot of quarterback design run stuff with him. Uh, and also with uh, the drop back game, if he gets pressured, uh, he's shown the ability to escape and, and turn uh, you know, quarterback hurries into big plays in the, in the run game there. So we've got to do a great job of containing him. Well, I thought that they came in with a positive attitude Sunday, and I thought in watching the film, uh, and we really, um, you know, we were very deliberate with how we wanted them to evaluate themselves. And I've, I've said it a couple of times in different interviews that, you know, I gave them kind of four criteria I wanted them to, to watch themselves individually with, and, you know, because I think that, that scheme, you know, you take the triple option scheme and you're not going to see it again for a year, so some things may not be, you know, very relevant. That's what you're going to see the next uh, several weeks. But the things that you can evaluate, I thought, were important in all three phases. And that is, you know, are we, are, how is our alignment? Uh, whether it's offensively, defensively, special teams, are we aligning correctly? Um, you know, are we doing what we are coached to do? You know, are we, are we doing what our assignment is? You know, based on the scheme, based on what your coach has instructed you throughout the week, um, are we giving maximum effort? You know, that's a minimum requirement with our program. Are we giving maximum effort one play at a time you know, throughout the game? And then are we competing? And, and the difference in effort and competing is, you know, you got a defensive player, he can line up correctly, he can, he can know what his assignment is, he can give great effort, but does he make the tackle? You know, does he make the pass breakup? Does he make the interception? You know, as a, as a wide receiver, you know, he can, he can line up correctly, he can know what route to run. He can run it at the correct depth, the correct break. Does he make the contested catch? That's competing. You know, and I asked the players to evaluate themselves in those four categories. And I thought the older players did a good job with it just from their feedback because so many of them would catch me at various times throughout the day Sunday and, and make the comment to me, Coach, I'm better than this. You know, I can play better. Uh, I'm going to challenge myself this week. And so I think that shows positive attitudes on their part. So I think those things... Uh, you know, show that, you know, they, that they want to be good. Um, you know, I haven't seen them since Sunday. I thought we worked really hard Sunday night. I thought they practiced uh, with good, uh, good effort Sunday night. I'll see them at uh, 2.30 this afternoon. So I expect them to be enthusiastic and ready to go. It seems like last week so much of the buildup was about maybe to watch and all that. Is this week going back to more of what you're going to do establishing yourself rather than, you know, last week? Well, I think, I think the focus this week has to be on us. Uh, certainly, William and Mary does some things that are a little different offensively, and so we've got to be prepared for that. Uh, but the focus has to be on us and uh, getting better every single day. And that's, that was the big challenge on Sunday, and that's got to be the challenge every day uh, with our program is you know, coming in and doing things right. Uh, and, and, and we've tried to define that very clearly for our players. Uh, doing things right on the field, doing things right off the field, you know, getting a good night's sleep, you know, making sure they eat, as, as crazy as it sounds, make sure you eat breakfast and lunch and hydrate before practice this afternoon so that you can go out and practice at a high level, okay, in the heat, okay, and, and be productive. And if you don't do that, and, and we've struggled with that with some of the young players, if you don't do that, you're not going to be able to go out there and perform well on Tuesday. And the only way you're going to get better every day is each day going out and have a solid day and then coming back the next day and doing the same thing. And we've got, we've got, to, do, we've got to stack positive practices and continued improvement on top of each other. Um, you know, they want to be good. Uh, we just got to continue to work very hard at it and be very diligent at uh, doing things right day in and day out. I know this is your most important <laughs> game of the year. The casual fan may look at this game and say, William and Mary doesn't really click in the pulse. What do you tell the casual fan why this game is so important and you may need them there? The casual fan better wake up. I can promise you this is a good football team coming in here. And uh, anybody that would think otherwise is uh, obviously very much a not, not very knowledgeable fan. Um, 
You know, they're two and one on the year with two quality wins. Yeah, they didn't play very well at UVA, but uh, UVA is a pretty good football team. Uh, and you know, if you really look at the film against UVA, uh, Mathis, you know, UVA still hadn't tackled him. You know, he gave them fits. Uh, they had their opportunities right there. So uh, we need our fans here. We need Dowdy Ficklin Stadium, you know, the way it was two weeks ago uh, and more uh, because that's, you know, that's a difference maker for us. And, uh, and people that are passionate about this program, uh, you know, they need to show up and show it. Uh, you know, our kids are going to be ready to play on Saturday, and they're going to play with a lot of effort and a lot of intensity. Uh, but it is going to be a very competitive football game. It's going to be one we've got to fight our tails off in order to have a chance to win. Anything else? Thanks a lot. Thank you. <laughs>